everyone, this is Evelyn, aka Sparrow. I am coming at you today with a quick review of Atticus or Atticus.io, which is a writing and formatting software, particularly for um, self publishing your own books and ebooks. So, let's take a look. All right, so here I have the Atticus website pulled up right now. Um, as you can see, it works across all platforms, uh, including Mac and Windows, Linux, and Chromebook. Um, this is really nice because uh, currently the most regarded um, software that's similar to this is Vellum, which is only available on Macs. Um, so it's really nice that uh, Atticus is available on PCs as well. I personally use a Mac, but um, I also have a PC for gaming, of course, um, so it's nice that I can use it across different platforms. And that also includes um, mobile devices such as your iPhones or Android phones. Um, though, I will give a small caveat to that because I tried doing some writing um, on my iPhone using Atticus and it was not a super great experience, unfortunately. Um, it was difficult in particular to navigate the chapters um, and the particular functionality of like editing within um, the mobile device was not super great. Um, but uh, Atticus does have a lot going for it simply because it is cross-platform. Um, and it saves your work in the cloud, so you don't have to worry about constantly saving your own work. Um, though I will give that a small grain of salt because I did have some issues with that myself um, a couple of times where the cloud save either had an error or something I thought was saved didn't save the way I thought. So um, I think there's still some bugs to work out with the writing and editing part of this software. However, its real strength um, lies in the formatting, because um, this is what uh, people really need the most help with, I believe. So let's take a look. This is what the mobile version of Atticus, this is I've already signed in, and I've created a test page for us to take a look at. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so you see here, uh, I have started uh, a new test page. I've just included the title is test title and you can add your own subtitle test subtitle um, you can upload your own uh, book covers which you can uh, you know upload and create yourself or you can create with um, book brush um, <clears throat> it includes functionality to have multiple authors, multiple projects, different languages. You can import your own ISBN, your publishers, your publisher's logo, and you can export directly from here. Um, you can edit all your chapters, as you can see, and it automatically will generate some front matter for you, including um, your title page and your table of contents, which is just all everything that's here in the body. But let's take a look at um, the formatting section, which I think is where Atticus really shines, like what I said before. So formatting this book, <clears throat> you can create uh, custom themes for how your book is going to look, which is, is really nice. So as you can see, uh, right now it's showing me, you know, my test title, subtitle, and my author name. This is what, uh, you know, the title page of the book will look like. This is what the copy grade page, this is what the table of contents will look like, and this is what my first chapter will look like. So it shows you what you see, you know, what you get, basically. <clears throat> and you can adjust this here using a bunch of different settings. So for instance, you wanted to just say O-N-E-1 all written out instead of the number one or chapter one. Um, you can right align it, left align it, center it. Um, you can adjust how you want your paragraphs to look with drop caps or lead in all small caps. Um, <clears throat> you can, uh, there's quite a lot of control um, on how you want your book to look. You can also include these really nice ornamental breaks um, between like sections of your chapters, which is really kind of neat. 
Um, there's a whole gallery you can um, view of Atticus's images um, of different uh, pre-made ornamental breaks, or you can import your own custom images or create something with book brush. You can adjust the sizing of it. Um, and you can also, uh, you know, change the fonts, of course, what page your book starts on. And it has all these nice um, print settings that are specifically for like KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, Ingram Spark, uh, all your different popular trim sizes, uh, international sizes, mass market uh, paperback sizes, and even some advanced settings for adjusting your own margins, font sizes, line spaces, that sort of thing. Um, so it's really, you know, it's really nice and simple. It's very intuitive. You can also uh, change the drop down from here to see what your book will look like specifically on, say, a Kindle Fire or uh, let's see, a Kobo Forma. Um, and you can see exactly what it will look like and, and test all of your formatting here. And you can directly export a PDF and export an e EPUB uh, very quickly and easily. Um, so what I would say is that uh, Atticus is really strong in the formatting department. Um, it's really nice that it is available on PCs uh, and Macs. Its uh, price point is pretty decent. Um, compared to Vellum, it is $147 versus $249. Um, and they are constantly updating and including new features. As you can see, they're going to be including some version control, reusable elements soon. Um, and they have a couple of things that Vellum doesn't actually have at all, such as a custom chapter theme builder and cloud storage and backups. So um, I think Atticus is really on the way to success. I'm glad that I purchased it and have been using it. Um, I would say for now, um, the formatting is definitely stronger than the writing part of Atticus. So if you're using uh, Atticus for writing, um, it might be best to actually do your writing in a separate program and import it into Atticus for formatting. That is my opinion at this point, just because I have run into a couple of bugs writing within Atticus um, across multiple devices. I've been using my uh, MacBook primarily, but I also have an iPad and a desktop computer that I like to, you know, switch between um, instead of hauling one device all around the house and with me everywhere. Um, and the mobile version of Atticus is not quite there yet, um, but I think it is on its way to success and the formatting options are really exciting. So I will hope uh, you guys check it out, and I'm very excited to see where Addison goes from here. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.